Hi guys and welcome to day five of Vlogmas. Today, as you can probably tell, we are in my kitchen because we are going to be doing some baking. My mum has asked me to help her make some of these things. I'm actually going to make some for work, but she needs some. These are Mars Bar Christmas Crackles. That look like little puddings. Very, very cute. And I figure this is, comes from a website called like Kid Spot or something like that. I'll put a link to the recipe that I'm using in the description box below because this is gonna be a vlog more than an actual tutorial. So you, if you guys wanna get the right directions and recipe and stuff like that, you guys can find it there. But it is on a kid's website. So if a five-year-old can make it, I figure that we can do it and you guys will, you can sit and watch and, and help from your computer screen after the fact. Um, so, looking at the stuff that we need, I think I have everything. I have some Mars bars, some either Smarties or M&Ms. We have some white chocolate melt, some cocoa powder. I've got some cream in the fridge. I also have some baking canola spray and some rice bubbles because we're making chocolate crackles. Okay, and then we also have some muffin trays and I just went and grabbed the cream from the fridge. So, what does it say? The first thing is spray a little bit of canola spray into the 2 times 12 muffin pan things. So, that is what these are, I'm guessing. I don't know where I'm going to be able to prop you guys so you can see. Let's sit you here for a second. Okay, one more. I have no idea what's a little bit. Is it like a normal little bit? Is it a Jamie Oliver little bit? Because his little bits are always a lot. He says like a little bit of olive oil and then he puts in like half a jar of olive oil. Anyway, hopefully they won't stick. I'm going to just melt down the 200 grams of Mars bars chopped as long, along with the cream and cocoa in a glass bowl over water. Haha. <laughs> I have a chopping stick. Okay, these are 360 gram packets. Why does everything have to be so difficult? you didn't see that guys okay Mars bars oh my gosh these are 18 grams each how many do I need here's a math question for you guys how many Mars bars do I need if they're 18 grams each and I need 200 grams work that out now if it was 20 grams then I would need 10 so if I go say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 nine, ten, and since we lost two grams per each one, what's that, another 20, so we go, say one more Mars bar, that's about right, we can probably chuck in another half just because I like Mars bars and I like chocolate, okay, is it still considered baking guys if we're not actually going to put anything in the oven? I don't know. One for the chef. <laughs> How does one chop a Mars bar? I have to shoot it with a knife. Okay, once you have all your 200 grams or 11 fun size Mars bars all chopped up and looking nice, or if you're like me, looking kind of messy and now I have sticky fingers because I've got caramel all over my hands, we need to add the cocoa powder and the thin cream. Although we have thickened cream, so well done, mum. You may have bought the wrong thing, but we're just going to go with it. It says that we need two teaspoons of this sifted, so that's what I'm going to do. We have another teaspoon. Okay. 
My kitchen really isn't set up for filming lighting, but we're gonna persevere. We now have our Mars bars and our cocoa powder and our cream, which we're gonna put in this bowl and then melt it over a pot of water there. You just have to make sure that your glass bowl is not touching the water and then melt into smooth. So the instructions say, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. We have one tablespoon. Two tablespoons. I have no idea, it doesn't say how long it's supposed to take to melt, which is kind of makes it difficult. How are you supposed to know how long to do it? It just says uh, melt Mars bars, the bowl should not touch water, stir mixture until smooth. So I think we're going okay. Let's just see how this goes. Look, guys, it's melting. Martha Stewart, eat your heart out. I'm gonna actually be able to do this, I think. You know what, guys? I reckon that's probably about as smooth as I'm going to get it. If you're a perfectionist, you could probably make it smoother, but I right now don't have the patience. So I'm going to turn that off and just let that sit there for a second. Stirring, stirring, stirring. And I'm gonna come all the way back around here to my rice bubbles, which are conveniently decorated in a nice Christmas pattern. And what we need is three cups of rice bubbles. And there is three cups of delicious rice bubbles. Slowly pop that in. Maybe I should do bits at a time because this looks like it's gonna be difficult. I, I should have got a bigger bowl. Don't mind me guys, this is not really part of the recipe. Oops. This is hot. Yes, it's hot. How are you supposed to mix it together if it's hot? Really? You know what? I'm gonna break the rules and put it in here. <gasps> It should break the rules. Okay. Let's mix this all together. Okay, my camera just died, so I now have my sister recording me on my iPhone, my new iPhone, so we'll see how good the quality is. Once you have made a mess of this, I don't know where my camera died, so you may have seen this, you may have not have, but anyway, this is really um, a messy task, so plan to get messy. Um, all I'm doing is just trying to bunch it together. I don't know how much you're supposed to put in each one, so I'm just kind of hoping for the best. But it's sticking to my fingers, so it's kind of hard to bunch together. But I think the whole point of it is just put us all the mixture in these, and then we're going to stick them in the fridge. Yeah. And I can't. Next, but I'm going to put these in the fridge. Okay, so it's now later on in the evening and these little bad boys have had a chance to set. Sorry, my dishwasher is on. So if you can hear that noise, I apologize. I have counted out some red Smarties for our little cherries on top, but you could use M&Ms as well. And I've also measured about 80 grams of white chocolate. The recipe says 100, but I didn't make as many um, little puddings, crackles. M&M crackle pudding things, so I have less chocolate. So I'm going to take this in here into the microwave. Okay, so I'm going to melt these guys in the microwave. You should do 30 second burst, then a 20 second burst, and then 10 second burst until it's all melted. Mmm, white chocolate. Okay, so now that's all nice and melty, you could put it in a piping bag and pipe it on the top, but I'm gonna be lazy and just do a little bit with a spoon, just to drizzle it on. Okay, and once you've done a few, before the chocolate starts to harden, pop your little cherry, or fake cherry in this instance, on top. And then you're done. Now isn't that just the cutest thing or close to the cutest thing you've ever seen? So I'm going to finish those off. 
But before I do, I wanted to do the Vlogmas calendar quickly. So let's go to day number five. Five is my lucky number. Let's see if I guess right. I'm going to guess dairy milk. Why not? Let's test the theory. And I got it right. Okay, so it's definitely a bit of a pattern in that top row there. But if you guess dairy milk, then you are correct. I definitely need to mix up that calendar, I think. But I'm going to go enjoy my chocolate and finish these off. I hope you guys have enjoyed Vlogmas Day 5, a little bit random. But um, baking is always fun. Remember to check out the link to the recipe in the description box so if you guys want to make these too you can and i will see you guys all tomorrow for day six of vlogmas bye all done and they look delicious